This actually is going to be a video on binoculars, but I just wanted to do a quick shot of this to show my family that we just had the house painted and it finished up. Wife painted the dock boxes. I just spent three days pressure washing 136 feet of dockage here and these three 16 by 16 separate dock. I just want to fill that in real quick. I don't want to do a separate video just to show how it's painted. And with our binoculars, I'm going to show you these, these are the, the evolution of our binoculars over the years. Tasco 10 by 25s, Minolta 8 by 23. I forget the brand of these. I think they're an expensive focal or something. These are Bushnells or Bushnells, however you pronounce that. These are Swift Seahawks, one of the best binoculars ever been made. 7 by 50s, which is 7 by 50 is a standard for most marine applications. And so I just got these recently of the Fujin on 1440 stabilized, Techno Stabby stabilized, the new, their newest version of them. All right, these all come on, that's just coming on, of course. Um, the first number on any binocular is the power. For instance, 14 by 40, I mean, there's 14 power. Something that's 1,400 feet away appears to be 100 feet away. 7 by 50, something that's 700 feet away appears to be 100 feet away. So just, it's just the magnification or the power. The second number is always the, the objective lens. It's the objective lens. The bigger, the better. It lets, lets for more light to get in there and better visibility. 50 millimeters has been the standard. That's a 50. These are both 35s. These are 25. And these are 23. So not great. These are almost not useful on a boat for anything. They are very, pretty powerful. 8 and 10 power is not bad. Now, on the, let me go from both sides here. Shows the If you can find Swift Seahawks, these are the 735As. They're still available. I have, I've had these since the early 80s. Best binocular I've ever seen. They're waterproof and fogproof, nitrogen filled. Um, they, they, were, they, were, they were as good as they were when I bought them in early, I think 81, 82. And they're just as perfectly good as they were since I bought them. Um, if you can find them still on places on sites on the, um, if you can find some, get them. They're just that good of a binocular. They don't, they don't make them new anymore. The fusion on it with the stabilization, you bounce around in the boat or even just sitting anywhere, this can just stabilize the images. These are completely waterproof. The old Fujinon required a heavy, heavy strap to make them float. These are waterproof and they float on their own. I can promise you I will not, I will not test that theory. Um, um, I'll take their word for it. Easy on, easy off. These work even without the batteries. This takes four AA batteries, even without the batteries. They work like a regular binocular, so you don't have to use the stabilization. It has the um, focus, the um, adjusting lens, like they all have. Just thought I'd give an update on some binoculars. For, uh, uh, to me, binoculars are one of the most important tools on a boat. You have to have them. You can see a marker far away off, looking for birds if you're fishing, along with your radar. So, well, I'm getting ready to go out in the boat. I stay to be out there. So for that, I'll say goodbye.